Alright guys, this is Blake from Matt Kite. I am here in Moine, Vietnam. Just got here last week and I'm here for the season till March. I'm gonna be teaching foil boarding, headboarding, and doing these trick tip videos for you guys. And today, what we're gonna do is now that I'm here, we have a little bit more of a shore break, we have waves. So it's a lot more fun now to pop off a wave, do a grab. And so Rago and I decided that we're gonna make a video for you guys on a board grab chart. So we're gonna teach you like beginner board grabs, intermediate board grabs, and advanced ones. So each week we'll do, give you a couple to work on, and then as we go, we'll give you a chart with all the different grabs, and then we'll teach you some of the main ones that you need to learn in order to start progressing and uh, getting all your grabs dialed in. So this week we're going to go over the beginner board grabs and it's easier when you're grabbing the board just to do it with your back hand when you're starting because if you're going in one direction you want your kite to keep pulling you in that direction and like let's say you're going and you grab with your front hand and you're going to be pulling on your back hand and the kite will go the other way. So I've been getting some comments and I'm going to try and make these videos shorter for you guys also so I'm watching the timer on my GoPro and I'm going to try and keep it five under ten minutes so that we can get this going for you. So, um, so today we're going to make it simple, two grabs. So you're going to learn an indie grab and you're going to learn a tail grab. And these are the two first most basic easy tricks to learn because they're the closest to you, they're the most reachable and once you grab those and just keep doing the indie grab, indie grab, um, you can tweak it out more, you can grab it a little bit different area, which actually is different grabs, but as you start, just reach down, grab your board, and go from there. So we're gonna start with an indie and a tail grab. And both of these, you want your, if you're going to the right, you keep your right hand on. If you're going to the left, you keep your left hand on. And you use your back hand to grab the board. So, in order to do a grab, um, some of the things you have to understand are your body mechanics and like center of gravity. So if you're really tall, you're going to be moving around a lot and your center of gravity is in the middle, your belly button, and then you can move around like that. So um, if you want to grab your board, you don't want to be tall like this, so then you're going to have to reach down like that. So if you want to grab your board, bring your knees to your chest and then your arm will be right there. It's good to understand center of gravity. You really want to stay low, get compact, bring your knees to your chest. Talking about center of gravity and how if you want to do a grab, you want to be really small because if you're trying to reach down and grab your board, if you're really tall, you have to bend over. So you always want to make your center of gravity low. And an indie grab is grabbing like inside, toe side edge of your board in the very middle. So an indie grab is the very basic, most easy trick as you're learning how to kite. Bring my knees to my chest, grab right here, toe side edge. So my hand is on the bar, which is taking me forward. So my front hand is on the bar. I'm bringing my knees to my chest and I'm grabbing down right at the toe side edge. And a tail grab is just same hand, except instead of the middle of between your feet, grab your tail. Bring it down like this, grab the tail. So, I mean, they're both pretty clear. Um, not a whole lot goes into those tricks besides just practicing them. Here I've got my board here. So, we're standing here. That's an indie grab. So you're just bringing your knees to your chest. You see how that is very tricky. So, the key to doing any grab is getting small, getting compact. And you can actually use grabs to create more um, fluid motion into your tricks. So like as you're making a flip or as you're doing a spin, if you grab your board, you can lock it in, hold it, and you can keep your center of gravity more controlled as you're spinning in the air and be able to like really tweak out and um, add a little bit of style to your tricks. It's fun, it's easy, and then once you get the feeling of the grab, then it's much easier and it all goes a lot smoother. So just practice with the uh, tail grab, 
reaching here always. So if I have my right hand here on this GoPro, this is the bar. So my right hand reaching with the back hand and bringing my knee to my chest. And you can either, as you start, bring both your knees to your chest or you can bring one knee and then tweak it out. Or as you go, tweak it out a little bit more. And then grabbing your tail. And one more thing is that the Hindi grab goes better with the front roll, just a jump, tweak. Whereas the tail grab goes nicely with the back roll. And you can just mess around with those and I won't give you too much direction, but I just want this week, you guys, if you're learning grabs and you want to learn something new, just give an indie grab, give a tail grab a go. Just throw them into your tricks as you go. You always progress more. And then next week, we'll give you a new set of grabs and we'll get going on that. So this week, indie tail grab. Try those out, see what you think. It's getting a bit windy out there, so I'm going to go practice some grabs myself, try and get some videos for next week. But um, yeah, here in Monet, you guys come visit me. And uh, nice wind, super tropical. But um, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you get some grabs down. And next week, we'll get some more added to that. And that's it. So, see you next week, guys. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, requests, or you like these, just like us, subscribe to us on uh, Mac Pipe Order. And just always check all the videos online. It's good to take knowledge from every source. We're just doing our best to give you what we know, and there's always more to know. So until next time, adios.